Hello Internet and thank you for tuning in to this episode of A Nerd Abroad, an exploration of nerd culture around the world. This week I'm in Brisbane, Australia, here at the Marvel Creating the Cinematic Universe art exhibit, which promises a lot of different costume pieces and props from the films, along with storyboards and other little behind the scenes goodies. Right off the bat, the exhibit is packed full of Marvel goodies. You've got conception art on the walls, you've got costume pieces and prop pieces from all different Marvel Cinematic Universe films. You've even got guns and weapons in the middle, and just showing Civil War on the wall, so there's a cluster of people just came to an art museum and are now watching a movie. It's kind of funny. The first room is a real introduction to the Marvel Cinematic Universe. They have a little bit of everything, including a lot about the Avengers. They even have Winter Soldier and his cell. Um, they've got Crossbones and Loki, Director Fury, all of their costumes. They even have concept art and maybe just art paying homage to the different films and scenes and monumental scenes. They have all of the Avengers and all of their costumes and, well, character models, I guess, for the Hulk. The exhibit quickly moves into covering Captain America, so they have costumes from each of the different films and how those have grown and developed. They also have the villains, so this is a Hydra costume and a Hydra mech, I guess, with a flamethrower, which is always cool to see because a lot of times the villains are just as important as the heroes, and they even have motorcycles. Moving into a much darker room, you enter the area of the gallery that has the Guardians of the Galaxy and Doctor Strange. They have all of the weapons from Guardians of the Galaxy, which is pretty awesome to see laid out together. They have all of the character models and costumes of Guardians of the Galaxy, which again, very cool. They even have the Collector and the Orb and everything else, a handful of things from his shop in the film. And they even have a bust of Thanos. The Doctor Strange part of the exhibit is very small, but very cool. They have all the costumes laid out, and I don't know if I just got lucky and they're playing the whole film, but they've got the trippy scene where they're in like the alternate dimensions in the mirror world and everything like that running through in the background so it makes the whole exhibit pretty awesome. Thor's pretty badass because they have what I assume is a throne of Asgard on display which takes up a giant chunk of a big room. But yeah, they also have Molinier, which is cool. I wanted to go pick it up but no one, I got physically stopped by security so that wasn't acceptable. They also have paintings of Thor and Loki that I want to steal and put up in my room. Everything Ant-Man is very small, which is unfortunate because I really like Blade. There's a joke there. Maybe they did that on purpose. I don't know. But I really liked Ant-Man, so it's kind of sad to not see much more, but they have probably one of the coolest effects in the exhibit. They have Ant-Man shown through a small keyhole, which is pretty awesome. But other than that, it's just a lot of concept art and paintings from scenes in the book. Onto the Iron Man part of this excellent exhibit. Find me, you can see Hulkbuster Iron Man, which is great. Huge, enormous. I know my head looks massive next to it, but he's actually like 15, 20 feet tall. They also have kind of a progression of the Iron Man suit and different little prop pieces along the way. The art in this side section is incredible. I've always really enjoyed the technological side of Iron Man. And for someone like that, there's just dozens of different suits he can have, so you're always constantly pleased with something brand new and exciting. What's even more exciting in this area is the Discover the Web of the Universe, which has a number of interactive computers that show how each character, group, prop, ability, power connect with other pieces of the same puzzle inside the Marvel Universe. To go along with the Iron Man area, they also have a storyboard of the Hulk and Hulkbuster fight scene. It's completely storyboarded out, which is cool because it's all CG. So it's interesting to see the thought process as it goes before people actually animate. They have a preview of Thor Ragnarok, sort of. They have some actual set pieces and costume pieces. They have Thor's bed, which is enormous, and all of his gladiator armor. They also have a whole wall of comic panels from Hulk. It's always nice to see the source material. In the next room, they seem to have kind of creative process and progression uh, displays. They have some stuff that looks like step-by-step -step creation. They have things like Captain America's masks models and how that progressed stage over stage. They have the different Captain America costumes as they progress from film to film. They also have a little area showing 
kind of comic panels from Guardians of the Galaxy, and then the prop pieces that resulted from those comics post-production. So they have things like motion capture suits, and they have this pretty entertaining little, uh, basically character tracking where you stand in front of a screen and become a character and move around on that screen. And look at those kids go, they <laughs> love it. I just finished my walkthrough of the creating the Marvel Cinematic Universe or something exhibit. It was a blast. It had a ton of different things from the films. A lot of behind the scenes stuff too, which is my favorite stuff to see. Overall, just a fun experience. Great day. Unfortunately, there was nothing Deadpool which kind of disappointed me. I wore a Deadpool shirt and everything. I spilled stuff on it, so I'm not gonna show you. But overall, again, a lot of fun. I also walked away with this book of all of the art from the exhibit. Very similar to what I picked up at the DC exhibit in Paris. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please hit the like and subscribe buttons. There's also a handy dandy playlist of all of the Nerd Abroad videos that I've done around the world, including that DC one, so maybe check that out. Check back next week, maybe it'll be general travel, maybe it'll be nerdy again. Who really knows? Until you check back next week. Have a good one, everyone.